Hi guys, this video is about pandas and how to filter and apply lambda expressions. So here you have several examples. This is our data, which is going to be converted into a panda data frame with uh, this data frame. And here we are giving our data and some settings. So I will do some demonstrations. So let's see them. This is our data. We are converting this data into panda data frame and we can see this data frame with this command here. So this is uh, the information. Here we have indexes for each row and we have headers. So right now, if you want to see only one column, for example, let's see column language, we can do it with square brackets and the name of the column. And this will show only this column from this data frame. And let's say that you want to verify, uh, for example, how many of uh, these rows have value Java. And this can be done with uh, sign uh, equals equal sign two times and the name of the value. And as you can see, the output is we have only one uh, true for Java and let's say that you want to see some other information for example let's check what we have by this count so here we are counting uh, how many values do we have per each row so for example if I delete this the last one uh, we will have uh, only one as you can see, with uh, count axis columns, you can uh, get how many values do you have per row. So I will return back. And for example, let's say that uh, you want to count the values per specific value. Uh, let's say that we want to count languages uh, with uh, name Go. This can be done with this structure here. So date frame lock then we have date frame and the column name equal to the value and finally we have count and let's see the results as you can see here we have only one and if i put here go we should have two so this is the way to count the values and sometimes you can uh, try to find more than one value so this can be done again with lock and this time with is in so here we have a date frame lock date frame the name of the column and is in and the values that we expect and let's see the result of this here you we have uh, two rows one is java and the other one is c and sometimes this is not going to work. For example, if you have a list as a value and you get error. And in this case, it's better to apply a regular expression. I will show you one, not regular expression, sorry, but lambda expression. And this is a simple lambda expression. Uh, here we are applying this lambda expression to this data frame and we are searching uh, values C and C++. So this is a really simple one, but it's going to work if you have uh, some strange data types in your data frame. And as you can see here, we have the expected result. Mm, this can be done on only one line. So let's see the equivalent of this line with uh, only one row. So this is the equivalent. Uh, sometimes it's better to see the lambda expression separate if it is uh, more complicated and this is going to do exactly the same so this is all about panda filters and lambda expressions i hope you enjoyed if you have any problems please do share them and i will try to answer them and if you like the channel content please do subscribe thank you for watching and see you next time